Hello and welcome to Comfy Cozy Up. So today I'm going to be doing one of my reading as well as a little bit of TBR, some new releases and as well as uh, the Brooklyn Book Festival that is going to be this weekend. So for this month so far I completed the second book off the, uh, the Man Booker long list that I was interested in and this is The Mars Room and this is a, a prison um, book about a young lady who is, sentenced, is serving two life sentences and um, I definitely want to review this, but I think I'm going to do a written review of it, and definitely we'll talk more about it at the end of the month when I do my wrap up. Now, I am in the mood for these kind of stories, and so I'm going to be reading the third book off that um, the list, and that is Snap. And this one also has that crime. Um, this is more crime mystery um, involved um, with um, kids and their mother missing, something like that. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm in that mood, so definitely going to be reading this next. But right now, I am on the third book in the Morgan Dane series, and this is by Melinda Lee. And I am absolutely in love with this story. It is that I, it's the third book in the series, and I would say. Um, it's called Bones, Bones Don't Lie, and she is definitely improving every story. And the the crimes in this one, I did not see the who the killer was. I couldn't predict it. I thought I knew who it was because, I, you know, when I read a lot of these um, stories, I tend to feel like I can figure it out, you know, within 40% of the book. No. I am literally about 60-something pages left in the book. I'm reading on my Kindle, and I'm telling you... I did not know who it was and when it was revealed I was like I didn't see it coming and I'm it's in the the part of the book I'm at right now I'm, I'm just definitely as soon as I'm done recording I'm going back to reading this book because this series is damn good I don't know why no one's talking about this series but it's so good but you know hey <laughs> I'm loving it. I can't wait to continue. I'm definitely going to be reading all five. I mean, I thought I was going to read one every month. I don't know. The way this one is, I might end up reading the, the, the fourth one before the month is over. We'll see. But I'm going to try and control myself because I really want to just not finish it. So I'm, I might, I might, I might control myself and save the fourth one for October. So, the other book I want to read is um, Praise Song for the Butterflies, and this is by Bernice uh, McFadden, and you know I love her. I love her. So, I definitely want to get into this this month, and this one is um, has some little African tales, uh, struggle. It's based in Africa, so I am, um, you know, interested to see how she writes stories that's, you know, that's not based in America. So, um, yeah, definitely going to be reading this this month. Now, um... The next book is something that I saw on um, um, Dominique talked about in a video and I was like yes and it just came out um, the day I'm recording this which is Tuesday it came out and that is uh, She Would Be King and this book just seemed very interesting and honestly I'm going to link her video so she could go watch how she this, um, described this book and how she talks about it. I mean she's very creative in that and I find that video very like yeah let me let me pick this up let me read this up. Um, so I'm just gonna leave a link down and you can just go check out her video how she feels about the book but it just released and it's getting buzzed so we'll see how it goes um, and this one you know seems a little bit more of what I'm reading I don't know I don't know I'm also the only romance novel I started I haven't really gotten that far and it's called Sweatpants Season. Yeah. And that is by Daniel Allen. Now, I'm a fan of hers. She made me nervous with the endings because sometimes the endings are like, sometimes the endings make me cry, you know. So, we'll see where she goes with this. But the cover is kind of hot. You know, I'm a New York girl. So, I love my little sweat, sweat outfit with a man, you know. Sweatsuit with the Tim's or, you know, some, some Nike high top. Yeah, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, I also want to read another book off the man, um, the man book list, and that is um, Washington Black. I don't know if I want to buy the book because I hate the cover. I'll go, I, mean, I feel like I'm being tortured on Instagram with all this beautiful UK cover. And they all like so nice and pretty and you know the the, 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 the cover just makes you wanna yes, like get the book. And then I see what we're getting in the US and I'm like, yeah really? This is the best we can do. 
you know, you couldn't come up with nothing better than this. So, I might buy the physical book. I might just get the e-copy because, you know, until I get somebody to get me that cover. <laughs> so, we'll see. But anyway, um, and for the next book is the book I woke to pick up on Thursday. So, Walter Mosley will be in New York as usual. He is a New Yorker. Um, and to kick off um, Brooklyn Book Festival, there are several bookstores in New York, um, in Brooklyn, New York, that are going to feature different authors and um green light um bookstore which is very close um is going to be hosting um walter mosley so we're definitely going to pick up john woman and this one just seemed a little bit crazy but I'm, I'm up for some crazy so i might definitely you know i'm definitely going to pick it up while i'm there you know might sneak a few of my other books that i have and you know get some you know autograph if he's doing it so he's definitely going to be there um there's other several authors that's going to going to be doing stuff i believe um how to love a jamaican the author who wrote um how to love a jamaican um she's also having she's going to be at a bookstore in brooklyn as well on friday there's several others i will link um the brooklyn book um Book festivals, their website in the description bar where you can go check it out and see what books might you know what author you might want to see. I know like Jacqueline Woodson is going to be doing um the Kitty's um day, which is Saturday, is where they dedicate to the children, young and teens, and um, she's one of the author I know that's going to be there. There's a few others big names that's going to be there. There's also of course more um in the art um authors as well it's going to be there because it's brooklyn based you know supporting brooklyn, brooklyn authors and um on the big day which is sunday is where you're going to have a lot more other people um um you know of course american marriage um author you know Tarari joe's i think that's how i said it right <laughs> um of course and um I'm really looking forward to seeing Tara McMillan because i have never met her before i own all her books Pretty much all our books. If I don't have it in physical form, I have it in e-read. But I've never met her, so it'd be cool to see her in action. And hopefully, it's not too crazy where I can actually get my first book that I've ever read from her signed. It is a vintage copy, and I would love to have her autograph on there. But we'll see how it goes because um, sometimes it can get... <sighs> You know, crowd depends on the popular author. But last year I went and it was very nice. It was very peaceful. It was not nothing like BookCon at all. It's just, um, what I love is a lot of discussion panel, but they allow them are art at the same exact time. So the only problem I have is deciding which one I wanted to go more than the other. So that was the only issue I had. But every um, author that I was interested in seeing, books I wanted, was there again this is not on um, that book con it's not a lot of free books you're buying the book so which is a good thing because it keeps you on a budget where you can decide which author books you really want to buy but the good thing is you purchase a book the author is there they'll sign your book so i did get a, the books all the books that i purchased last year i did get an autograph um signed copy from the author and met the author in person so that was pretty cool but if you are there and you happen to see me Please say hi. Please come up and say speak to me. I would love to meet um, my fellow book lovers and, you know, say hi. You know, I'm here. And, um, yeah, I'm excited. You know, it's another fun weekend. Hopefully the rain is not too crazy. Um, but most of the, um, the panels, discussion ones are indoors. The bigger and more popular ones are outside. But, you know... I'll just have an umbrella if it gets to that point. But, you know, with, with the storm that's coming... The weather is not, you know, uncertain about the rain, but it's books. It's, ex it's an experience, so I'm definitely going to be out there. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day. Bye.